this video, we will demonstrate how to replace a screen module on an Acer Aspire A515-51G. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure that that bad boy is not live. So if you have a battery that you can remove from the back panel, go ahead and do that. Make sure it's not plugged in. What we're going to do is then remove the bezel. So I'm going to show you a little bit about the product information right there. It's a little hard to read, but it is an A515-51G 89AT Aspire 5. You want to look at the back panel here. I have removed my SSD because I've placed it into another device, but uh, you'll see all of those little screw holes that you'll need to unscrew in order to take out the battery so that you're not dealing with a live battery. Once you've got the laptop open, the Acer Aspire folds out nice and flat. You're going to want to pop off that bezel by getting your fingers underneath it. You can also use a flat tool like this one. Sometimes you can use something like a flathead screwdriver. It's a little bit too thick. Uh, so you can use a guitar pick just as well. This has cracked as you've s seen clearly. Uh, which is why we are replacing the screen um, so that bezel's been a little bit cracked but it'll come off just about as easily there are a few screws here there's four of them one on each corner what we're going to need to do is remove those with a little bit of a uh, little bitty screwdriver and right here we've got one that actually has a magnetized tip but you can magnetize it on your own you'll see all four of the screws are here Go ahead and remove those screws. You also need to purchase the panel in advance, obviously. This is a uh, standard laptop um, LED screen. And you'll see right here a little 30 pin cable. You'll just need to take a little plastic tab off of there. You can use something flat like a uh, flat a bezel removing tool like the one that we just used or a an exacto knife or something like that uh, just to take the little piece of tape off of it and you'll want to remove that from the screen itself not from the pin as soon as you get that removed just go ahead and peel that back you'll be able to unplug the pin from the socket That's a 30 pin cable. When you're buying these, you can buy these from Newegg, Amazon, wherever. And they're about 50 bucks. They could be as low as 30. Uh, this one is a WXGA. You'll see those tools that I was just showing you to remove that uh, was an X-Acto knife. So we've taken that part off. We can now trash that. And we've got our new module right here. Go ahead and pluck that pin right back in and we've placed that tape right down there as well oh look i can see myself so now that we've seated it back in there you should be able to put all four of those screws right back into screw holes And again, this is a 15.6 inch WUXGA 1080p EDP non-touch laptop screen as an LCD. So if I said something else earlier, I apologize, but it is indeed an LCD. You may need to magnetize your uh, screwdriver head uh, sometimes these can be a little bit of a pain, these tiny little guys. Um, so you should be able to seat it right on the top and try to get it in there. We're going to go ahead and move that 
protective plastic because we don't need it anymore. And to finish this off, we're going to go ahead and put that bezel right back on. Should click right back into place. They're basically just tongue and groove joints. Tongue and groove joints, apologies. And just press it firmly, not too hard. You don't want to cause any damage. Give it a nice run over. Finish clicking it back into place, and there you go. You are now done. Go ahead and put your battery back on in if you have taken one out and plug her back in.